Welcome to Top Best Picks. Building a new computer. Choosing the right barebones kit is crucial for a customized build. Let's explore the key factors to consider when picking a barebones kit for your PC build. Consider your needs. Before choosing a barebones kit, consider your computer needs. Determine if you need a basic desktop or a more powerful system for gaming or editing. Identify the processor, memory, and storage requirements for your build. Research and compare different barebones kits that meet your needs. Look for kits with the required features and components, and compare prices for the best value. Consider the manufacturer's reputation, quality, warranties, and support. Choose the right size. Select the appropriate size of barebones kit for your build. For a powerful gaming rig, choose a larger case with ample room. For a basic desktop, a smaller case may be more suitable. Check compatibility. Ensure all components in the barebones kit are compatible with each other. Verify compatibility with any existing parts you plan to use, such as a processor or memory. Confirm compatibility of the motherboard, case, and power supply with other components. Now let's take a look at the best barebones we choose for you. Number 5, Experience Fast and Efficient Computing Power with a 5th Generation Intel Core i7-5557U Processor. It's perfect for a wide range of tasks. Easily connect your audio devices with a headphone microphone jack on the front panel. Plus, the mini HDMI and mini DisplayPort allow for multiple displays for enhanced productivity. The Intel Iris Graphics 6100 provides excellent visual performance, making it ideal for gaming and multimedia applications. What we like. If you are looking for a barebone system with powerful performance and versatile connectivity options, you should consider this one. The Intel Nuke Kit Nuke 5 i7-RYH is powered by a 5th Gen Intel Core i7-5557U processor and Intel Iris Graphics 6100, making it ideal for gaming and multimedia applications. With multiple connectivity options, it offers fast and efficient computing power for a wide range of tasks. What people say. Installing the memory and SSD was a breeze. Ubuntu 15.10 installed without a hitch and all is running smoothly with my Bluetooth IO devices and a 2DP speaker. Also running dual screens at 1920x1200 per monitor with a mini HDMI to DVI-D for one and a mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort for the other monitor. They both work very well without issues. The Intel i7 processor and 16GB memory certainly helps with any perceived speed improvements. I'm thrilled with the Nuke. I can't believe how compact it is and how much power it handles. Another issue people have addressed is how loud the fan is. To be honest, I really can't notice it at all, it's whisper quiet. Number 4, easily customize your PC with a variety of AMD AM4 socket CPUs, giving you the flexibility to choose the best option for your needs. Take on demanding tasks with confidence, knowing that this barebone package supports up to 650W of power, providing the performance you need. Weighing just 5.0 pounds, this barebone package is easy to handle and transport, making it convenient for building your own customized PC. What we like. If you want to build your own customized PC with support for AMD AM4 socket CPUs and up to 650W power, you should consider this one. The Oshrock Deskmini X300W Barebone is perfect for users who want to customize their PC build, with the flexibility to choose the desired CPU and power support for their specific needs. What people say. Best Mini I ever built. Great design for adding storage. I was impressed with how small the design is and how it has performed compared to my desktop builds. I highly recommend AMD 5600G. I have built three of these now for friends and family. Huge space saver with plenty of performance. My specs below. This is my third desk mini over the years and it doesn't disappoint. Paired with a 5600G, 1TB me, and team group SOT in 32GB 3200MHz CL16 RAM, XMP for CL16 loaded fine on this desk mini. Remove the shroud on the cooler that came with the 5600G and it fit fine, might need to lift the casing a bit to snug it in when closing up the panel. Came with latest BIOS. Great all around. Number 3, this mini PC supports powerful processors, making it perfect for those who need a high-performance desktop. You can connect multiple displays with ease, thanks to the triple video outputs. 
The fast storage capability of the Ultra M.2 PCIe Gen 3X4 slot ensures quick access to your data. What we like. If you want to build your own compact desktop computer with a powerful processor and multiple displays, you should consider this one. The Oshrock Barebone System Components Other Desk Mini 310W supports Intel 8th processors with triple video outputs and features an Ultra M.2 PCIe Gen 3X4 slot, making it perfect for users who require a powerful and compact barebone mini PC. What people say. Move the SSD off the old PC directly over to this little box, no prep, and it booted right up. It can even run my CAD software which requires a bit higher of a spec to run well. I paired it up with a Samsung SSD and a cheap 1080 monitor. Number 2, experience the power of a quad-core Celeron J3455 CPU for seamless multitasking and smooth performance. Enjoy the flexibility of dual display options with HDMI and Mini DP, perfect for enhancing your productivity. Stay connected with dual-bit Ethernet featuring Intel i211 for reliable and fast network connectivity. What we like. If you need a barebone computer with a quad-core Celeron J3455 CPU and support for dual display, you should consider this one. The Fitlet 2 J3455 barebone is perfect for users who require dual display support and a quad-core CPU, with the added bonus of dual-bit Ethernet for fast and reliable networking. What people say. Currently using the 3950 model as a sense router for my FIOS gigabit connection. It has no problem running 1 gigabit S connections and will sit around 20% CPU. I suspect this CPU could drive 1 GBS full duplex with mixed mode IMAX traffic with room to spare if you'd like to toss something like Blocker on it as well. Bought this to replace a dated MSI Windbox 3 that was my router for 8 years. Kit out with 128 gigabytes MLC Trans and M.2 SATA W1 PB TBW. 4GB Kingston RAM, dual GBE facet, and 1080p headless dongle. This rig runs on gigabit internet and is more than capable of reaching the limits with Snort. Number 1, experience powerful performance with the Oshrock Desk Mini H470W. Its support for 10th 11th gen Intel Core processors and dual DDR4-2933 MHz SODMMS ensures smooth multitasking and efficient performance. Connect multiple displays for enhanced productivity with the Oshrock Desk Mini H470W. It features 2x DisplayPort, HDMI, and D-Sub, providing flexibility for your display needs. Enjoy convenient connectivity options with the Oshrock Desk Mini H470W. Its alternate mode USB Type-C and USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C ports allow for seamless connection to various peripherals. What we like. If you are seeking a versatile and efficient barebone system with support for 10th 11th gen Intel Core processors and up to 64GB of memory, you should consider this one. The Oshrock Desk Mini H470W features multi-video outputs, USB Type-C connectivity, and a compact size, making it an ideal choice for users who require efficient multitasking and connectivity options for various peripherals. What people say. I bought this to run MS Office, Browsers, Spotify, the usual home office stuff, with dual 4K monitors. It works fantastically. Boots in 3 seconds, dead quiet. I have it on top of my desk and never hear it. Use the stock cooler that came with the CPU. So this machine is great for what it is, a small form factor machine focused for productivity. But make sure the processor you buy is compatible. Originally I bought a i510600F which has no integrated graphics. But I caught it in 2 minutes and cancelled that processor. You can find the Amazon purchase link in the description below. Hope this video can be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.